Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to be answering the question, who created God? You see, many Christians assert the fact that God created everything. He created the land, the seas, the animals, the stars in the sky, and people with their souls and hearts. However, if everything we see had a beginning or a cause for its existence, shouldn't God also need a cause for his existence? I mean, doesn't this sound a little too convenient for Christians? Look at this conversation, for example. Jimmy here says, God created everything. And Billy says, okay, cool, but who created God? And Jimmy's response, well, everything needs a cause for its existence, but not God, because he was always there. And that doesn't sit well with a lot of people. It seems as though some Christians shut off their minds and stop thinking about the origin of life because they automatically assume God was just always there. So in an effort to dive into this topic and provide an answer to both Christians and skeptics, we will be answering the question, who created God through three points. Point number one, in order for people to exist, something needs to be eternal. William Lane Craig in his book On Guard talks about Al Ghazali's idea that you cannot go through an infinite number of events one at a time, and it implies that there needs to be a beginning. Now let me explain. Let's look at this pencil that the student is using. Now, it didn't just pop into existence. This pencil was bought by this student's mother before it was brought to school. But before that, this pencil was in a box being shipped to the store. And before that, the pencil was being manufactured in a factory. And before that, the materials to make pencils were being shipped in trucks. And before that, the materials were being gathered by the workers and this goes on and on. The idea is that these events are like dominoes, and in the same way that one domino hits another domino and so on, these events cause the next event to happen until the pencil eventually gets to the student using it at school. Now instead of pencils, let's look at the Christian God of the Bible. Now someone may ask, well, who created God? And for the sake of building an argument, let's just say that the Christian God and Jesus were created by a greater God. So let's call this God, God 2. So God 2 created Christian God. Nice, problem solved. But actually, another question arises. Who then created God 2? Well, actually, the answer's pretty easy. God 3 obviously created God 2. And this creates a bigger problem. Because if everything needs a cause for its existence, then us as people could never exist. Why? Let's look at ourselves, the existence of people, as being a domino. And the Christian God who created us, he's the domino before us. And God two is the domino before Christian God, and God three is before God two, and so on. Now, if everything always needed a cause for its existence, then there would be an unending or infinite number of dominoes, and if there was an infinite number of dominoes, we couldn't be here because nothing could ever begin. And for people who believe in the Big Bang Theory, this is still a problem. Because let's just say that the Big Bang does happen, the question still arises, how did it start? How did the required materials needed for a Big Bang to happen get there? And even if they did get there, how did those materials get there? No, the very fact that we are here and alive is proof that someone or something was eternal. Because if everything needed a cause for its existence, then there would be an infinite number of events that would need to happen in order for us to get here. And if there was an infinite number of events before us, things could never begin. Therefore, in order for us to be here, there needed to be a starting force to push down the first domino. Point number two, the universe can't be eternal. Science tells us that our universe is actually expanding and that our universe has a limited amount of energy. Now, if our universe is expanding and we were to reverse time, our universe would just be a little bit smaller than it is today. And if we rewinded time over and over again, we would eventually be at a place where the universe started at a single point. In addition to that, think of the energy that's being used in the universe as a fuel tank to a car. 
if right now our fuel tank is half empty, then there needed to be a time in which the tank was actually full. All of that to say, the fact that our universe is expanding right now and has a limited amount of energy that's being used in our solar system and galaxies, all of this points us to the fact that our universe had a beginning and therefore could not be eternal. Point number three, the God of the Bible claims to be eternal. Psalm chapter 90, verse two, before the mountains were brought forth or ever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Notice how it says from everlasting to everlasting. What the author of this Psalm is saying is that if you start from this infinite period of time here and travel to this infinite period of time over here, God was always there. He had no beginning and has no end. He always was, always is, and always will be. You see, for people who ask the question, who created God, they need to know that the God of the Bible is eternal in nature, which means that time doesn't apply to him because he is the God who created time and is therefore timeless. And the Bible further explains that we as Christians are able to receive everlasting life in God because our God is eternal and capable of giving eternal life through Jesus. So to conclude, to answer the question who created God, I would consider these three points. Point number one, in order for people to exist, something needs to be eternal. Point number two, the universe can't be eternal. And point number three, the God of the Bible claims to be eternal. For people who disagree, I would ask, what do you believe is eternal? How do you think we came to be here on earth? And why do you believe that? For me, I believe that God is eternal and that he created people and that he wrote down his words in the Bible so that we can know him and hear this simple message. Jesus loves you.